Alright, it is time for my vacation. There's not a lot on this sleepy island. And good to see you all back. Speaking of sleepy, that's me. I've been playing this game too much. Apart from sun, sea, and sand. Man, that is beautiful. I love the tropical There's maps. There's plenty of that. Look at that. That's beautiful. This is like tropical all of a sudden. You're a smart cookie. Ooh, I like cookies too. All right, two for two. Come on. What else? You've noticed. The location is perfectly suited as a destination for vacations. Like pilgrims, people from all over Europe will travel here to escape their day-to-day -day lives. That airport looks nice. Grab your opportunity and create a tourist paradise. Soon you'll be making money hand over fist. Is that a Wendy's? The latest technological advancements are going to turn flying into a mass market business. Okay. Ready for a vacation, the pale middle class from Central Europe yearns for some time off in a Mediterranean climate. Use attractive offers to lure them to Mallorca. Above all the Germans, along with people from Austria and Switzerland, let themselves be tempted by appealing all-inclusive vacation package offers. The island of Mallorca needs a functioning airport if the tourism business is supposed to get cranked up and going. Provide the necessary infrastructure. All right, well, that means that we're going to have to basically uh, build the airport from scratch, so let's get going with that. Thanks again, everybody, for clicking and tapping the like button and showing your support through the entire series. I've been just loving these missions. They're just so fun to play. Some of them are kind of basic, but a lot of them just have to you know, like a little gimmick or a little thing you have to do, and I, I've just been enjoying it. Like, they all have their little, uh, I guess, specialties to them, and it's just fun. So welcome back, everybody. Good to see you all here. I'm going to build a truck depot here, then, to tra uh, transport stuff to there, the airport supplies. So that requires steel and bricks. Now, where do we get bricks from? Looks like, uh, oh, looks like this... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we won't be able to get bricks from there unless we supply it with stone. I wonder where we'll be able to get that. Well, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and connect our uh, sea line then because it looks like we can build a shipyard and then uh, connect to pick up steel from the mainland. So that's the only way we're going to get steel for our glorious nation. Glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section too. Deliver 10 of each. So let's get a ship going then. Um, I guess we'll buy one real quick. Oh, it looks like there's already lines created. What's going on? Oh, I see each one of the buses has their own thing but we can't buy any vehicles from there Ooh, wow these are huge um let's see 175 uh 200 uh, i think we'll just go with the standard ship to begin with let's go with that one the guests from austria gaze enviously towards parma where the germans throw rip-roaring beach parties so far nothing like that has happened where they spend their vacations but change is in the making Organize the kind of blast like the island has never seen. Uh, knees up on the sandy beach, okay. Very nice. The beach is big enough. All that's missing are the people. The Austrian element is still a bit shy and uptight. Get a couple of uninhibited Germans from Parma over here who'll get things going. Uh, where? Okay, there's rum distillery here. Oh, wow, look at that giant pool. Cool. Oh, it's a construction site for holiday homes for Germans. Oh, okay, we're going to have to do something like that in the future. Looks like there's a large path going across the island, too, so we'll have to do that. Okay, so 20 steel should be on the way. We're just going to pick it up as soon as we on pause. So our ship should roll out. And then we have to attract party people. So where exactly do we go to the party? Palma to the party. Oh, I see. It's not necessarily the beach. It's kind of just like a the city a little bit away okay well this is easy for a bus service buses will probably be our uh, bread and butter here as we don't have too much territory to cross nor do we have a lot of people in total there we go that's perfect i like those little roads like that okay let's build uh i guess we can build a bus service between the two which will require you know like some bus stops and such in order to get things rolling okay we'll build our little depot there <clears throat> then let's build a couple of bus stops here I think we'll just do uh, let's see something like that and these cities are so close together that I'm not even gonna make like an inner city service I'm just gonna do like one service across the whole island looks like there's another construction site here 
something's being built there too. Okay, let's go ahead and buy. Uh, let's buy maybe how many people can be on these buses? Fourteen. Okay, let's go with uh, ten. Cool. All right, now we need to make a new line. So uh, connect all these buses up. Meanwhile, steel should be delivered soon. And then we'll start working on our concrete, though I don't know exactly what I'm going to do to get that. There we go. Okay, perfect. Ten stops. That seems pretty good for ten uh, for nine buses. Nine uh, stops for ten buses. So let's see. There we go. Selected. And it should be line two. There we go. All right, so that should accomplish that goal, especially with the bus stop there. Now, let's see. Construction material. So I don't think I can just pull up here and, and just pick up construction material, can I? It's not producing anything. So if we're going to produce brick, oh, wait a minute. Here's where we get it from. Stone over here and cattle. Ah, okay. So we own that island too. Got it. So we can probably do a port here to deliver stuff. Oh, yep. Oh, perfect. They already allude to that by putting a brick, uh, like a little road there. Okay. Perfect. Great. All right. We'll build another bridge soon enough. Let's see. And by bridge, I mean like a bridge between. Looks like they put a little road here, too. So that's where we'll put this. All right, they kind of hint at where it should go. Got it. All right, let's connect everything via road. Now, we're going to need cattle at some point, obviously, so we may as well make a uh, cattle ranch uh, pickup zone. Obviously, if they put the industry there, it's going to be used in the campaign. So that makes sense. Love this little road. I love this. Okay, we'll go with another road here. And this has got to go all the way over to the quarry. So a little bit of a, of a distance, but that's okay. Probably end up building two stops. Okay, now time to build our industrial truck stops. So getting things set and organized at the start is very important. Looks like this map is not as big as like the China one, which is great because this is going to be all in a small area. It feels more like Tropico, and I like that. And I like that a lot. All right, let's build a truck depot here. Oh, wow, this one's going to be dug into the mountain, but I guess there's no real other way for it to be. There we go. Okay, I guess we got around that. Let's build the street up to the construction depot. Yeah. Then we'll also need a way to bring it back. So we'll just connect it to the cities, and we'll just connect all the uh, private, all the islands together, all the cities together on our, pri our private island. Yes, of course. We are well to do out here. Yes, yes we'll go this way. All right. Oh, and it looks like there's a distillery here, too. That requires grain in order to make booze. Okay. So we'll connect this up as well. Ah, these roads look nice. Okay, so this uh, Palma accepts alcohol. This also accepts alcohol. We'll need to get grain from the farm then, so let's connect that, too. Looks like this can connect this way, but we'll need to bring it down here. So we better connect it both directions. <clears throat> that way we can just have an inner city road all the way across the island. So I think we'll just connect it up here. I kind of like making my roads all twisty. You know, that way there's no crazy elevation or bridges or anything. Okay, we'll go back this way too. Good for a start. And then we'll get that... Uh, have we delivered the steel yet? No, but we've delivered the people. I might need to connect the uh, port with uh, trucks rather than just the port itself. That might be one thing I've forgotten to do. But that's all right, we're in the setup phases, so a lot of things just kind of need to get cracking. We've already transported most of the people, and it looks like we've got our road across the island completed now. So that's good. Now, let me take a look. Uh, steel does need to be delivered, yes. So I need to build a building for trucking it in. So that's fine, not a problem. And we'll build another road depot here. There we go, okay. And another truck depot on this side for deliveries for all goods. Excellent. Yeah, that's what happens during the start. You got a lot to do. All right, so we'll just bring some trucks from here to there. Excellent. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and buy... Uh, oh, let's take a look at the barge. Oh, that's cool. So that's going to bring all of the lovely steel. The guests steel. drift in. The mood is on the rise. Several very selective gentlemen have said they're coming too. They're eager to retire to the privacy of a lovely thinker to chill out. Make sure that they feel really good there. All right, so we need to deliver alcohol now, so that's our next step. Is it line three? 
What is that line we just made? I think it is line three. Okay. So they should rule out this way. Perfect. All right, so now steel has a full connection, so we're good there. And then we can start getting uh, stone delivered. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think we need to deliver a uh, stuff to a, like a, a truck depot here. So we'll build one here. All right, everything's almost connected. Perfect. And we won't have to worry about stuff anymore. So let's make this one line four. And we'll make uh, line five for the eventual cattle delivery. Perfect. So let's go with the... Uh, did, I, did I buy a little truck depot? I did not. Okay, we're going to need to put one down. We're getting there. We're almost there. Almost ready to get everything fully functioning. All right, let's buy... Uh, let's see. Maybe five trucks. I'll go with eight for the stone delivery. All right, so that should be line four, right? Yeah, line four for that one. Excellent. Okay, so now stone should be delivered so long as we get another ship over here. And we'll be in ship shape for completing our first objective. Then we'll start working on our second secondary objective. Good. Now let's buy another ship. Buy another barge. Seems to be a good investment. It was this one, though, that we want. And that should be on line six. Perfect. Okay. So now construction materials should be able to, to arrive. Uh, actually, I am incorrect about that. We need this to be over here instead. I forgot it's not a raw resource. So we will need to deliver it here instead. There we go. And then we just need to bring it from here to there. And to the other side. Does this connect automatically? It does not. So we'll need a small truck depot uh, to go from here to there and then back to the uh, airport. I wonder if these two will connect. Hmm, okay. I wonder if it'll automatically transport goods from here to there. The stone needs to just be brought a short distance. I'm going to build another road depot too. I like building them in areas where we're going to have large amounts of trucks, and this is definitely going to be one of them. Okay, let me buy some more vehicles. And I want to do a line here. It's going to be a short line, but there's going to be a lot of vehicles coming back and forth. <clears throat> Actually, we might be able to have those trucks go a full line. Excellent. This will be a three-stop. So they'll bring the construction materials to the construction plant. Okay, let's go with a few more. Let's go with 15 then. There's a longer distance to transfer. Now we're ready, aren't we? I hope so anyway. Oh, beep beep. Uh, let's see, a Mirage tram is now available, it seems. Okay, what's that line here? It's hard to see. It's line seven. Okay. Line seven is what we're looking for. Okay, so now these trucks should be able to a uh, boat should pick up the stone and bring it here. Then the truck should be able to bring it from here to there. It'll be converted into bricks and then transported to the airport. So we should be done. Now it looks like steel's not being delivered yet either. But the barge is finally coming back with the load. And it's loaded with 85. Excellent. More than what we need. Perfect. Now let's work on that alcohol. <clears throat> that means we need to deliver grain to the farm and then booze to the farm. Uh, from the distillery, where it'll be delivered, over to the uh, over to the party site. So we do need to put, uh, you know what? These people are eventually probably going to need meat and stuff. So let's build a, a truck stop over here. Although a truck stop is not as uh, inclusive for deliveries, but let's try this. There we go. That should be a perfect truck stop for the town. Okay. It won't be able to take as many vehicles, but I don't think we need too many for the booze delivery. But we will need one for the farm. So let's get going with the farm line. Everything's starting to shape up. We're looking good so far. The biggest time investment is just getting everything uh, laid out. Once you've got it, then you can just start connecting all the lines. There we go. So one from the farm to the distillery. And one from the distillery to the town. Perfect. And then one from the distillery to town. I'm surprised that 
it shows this route rather than here. I thought this was a shorter, I thought this was a shorter distance, but I guess it's based off where I put our uh, our initial truck stop. Okay, so let's buy, let's see, maybe 20 trucks. Okay, so we've got 10 vehicles here needed for the initial, let's see, line eight to bring things to the farm or from the farm and then one to deliver all the booze. There should be quite a bit of uh, alcohol made from that, so that should be good. All right, hopefully we see the end now. Now, where did that barge go? Ah, perfect. There's all the steel. Looks like they are picking up the steel. Yep, and they're delivering it now. So we should start seeing our first steel delivered in just a moment or two. Lots of trucks driving around. Okay, so the alcohol is just gonna take time. The steel is complete, and we just need construction materials, which will just take a little bit to get delivered. Let's see if there's stone being brought across. Yep, it's all being stacked up here, so they're bringing all the stone as needed, and that'll be turned into bricks here shortly. Let's see if the barge is loaded. It is, got a few loads of stone, good. Oh, I love these little tugboats. This is awesome. We're building our island paradise with this. So then these trucks should be able... It's kind of funny how I built it here. I don't think if I built it any closer, it would have mattered. Maybe, maybe it would have. If I, like, built it here instead, maybe it would have affected it. But it's okay. We're going to get an extra truck line in. All right, let's build one at the farm, too. We know we're going to have to do something with the beef soon enough. We may as well get a, something ready for that. We may as well start delivering to the towns a bunch of beef because we know we're going to need to do that. We also need fuel, and it looks like there's goods inside the town too, so we'll need to start distributing all these goods with truck depots at some point, for, for sure. So let's put a truck depot here for goods and fuel. We'll put one, uh, there's already one here for meat, so we'll keep that one. And these guys still want fuel, and it looks like rum in here as well. So that's just for making money on the side, but, Let's try to do a cattle setup, so that way we can get meat going. That's obviously going to be a big business. So let's buy maybe five trucks here. And this is uh, line number, I believe that's line five. Yep. So line five is going to deliver the cattle. So we want to put vehicles on line five. There we go. And now the next thing to do is to uh, bring the cattle from the dock to the farm. So we need a line for that. And we can actually do it all in one line. We can bring it from the port to the farm to the town that requires it. And I think it's only this town that requires the meat. So we'll get that going too. That's probably going to be an objective in the future, so we'll get jumping on that ahead of time. So this town wants goods and fuel. This town wants fuel and booze, and this town wants meat and fuel. So they're all going to require fuel at some point, and I assume we could probably bring that in. I wonder if there's going to be an easier way to bring that in. We could build a port here to shorten the distance, so that might be a good idea, but also I don't want to have ports on our beautiful beaches, so uh, let's go ahead and just leave the port by the airport and then one over here, and we'll leave these beautiful beaches for our wonderful guests. I'd hate for them to look at a, a delivery depot or something like that. So let's see, let's buy a bunch of trucks now. Let's go with uh, maybe 10 this time around. Cool, wow, they made this truck until 2010, amazing. Uh, let's see. So we uh, need to connect this line now, right? This is line 11, that goes all the way into town, cool. All right, line 11 it is. Oh, we only have nine vehicles. That's okay, I think. If we're short on one, we can always increase the number. So let's go with line 11. So from the dock, to the slaughterhouse, to the town. Perfect. Your travel organization is cleared for takeoff. Offer direct flights from flight destinations where your targeted clientele comes from, so the vacationers soon arrive in droves. Uh, click on the airport and select the expansion icon to add a main building and terminal. Okay, so we need to finish the construction ourselves. So we need to add a main building, okay? So right here would look nice. Is this a party or what? The island has never seen a huge wingding like this. Awesome. 
We got our party going. Uh, what was it? Uh, main terminal and what was the other thing? And uh, Oh, main building and terminal. Okay. Uh, we need a passenger terminal is what they should tell you specifically. Okay, that's done. Huzzah. Okay, so now we need to connect the airport. Don't I need a hangar then for an airplane? I mean, you know, if we're going to have... Yes, we're going to need airplanes. Okay. So now we need to cr create a route from Frankfurt, Vienna, and Zurich. I suppose we could just have three direct flights to our island from those locations. So we can get guests in faster. So let's do that. We'll buy uh, three airplanes. Ooh, cool. The Lockheed Super Constellation. Nice. Uh, let's see. The top speed is 468. What's the difference between these two? Oh, one is for passengers. I see. I see. How many people? 19? Okay, we better go with the big boy. All right, let's buy four of these. I think three actually is what we want. All right. Now, time for our three new airlines. Cool. Raptoria Airlines is operational. So one from Frankfurt to our island. One from Zurich to our island. And one from the last location of Vienna to our island. So Vienna Airport to our airport. Cool. Hopefully that starts bringing in people. So now let's put them each on a line. So aircraft one. You, sir, are going to be on line... What is line eight? That's an airline? Line 13, line 14. Your business idea works. Hordes of people want to spend their vacation on the island. Awesome. Whether men or women, the tourists have very different priorities depending on the country they come from. Provide for maximum vacation enjoyment by satisfying their very specific needs. Make sure that the island does justice to the preferences shown by all travelers. Uh, look for opportunities on the beach, in the mountains, and in the national park to fulfill guests' desires. Okay, what's on the beach? Germans like it when everything is above board and clean. Although they're the ones who leave behind the biggest mountains of trash. Whoa. See to it that they're not bothered too much by their own garbage and clean up the beaches from time to time. All right, so I got to clear stones now. Okay, there's one. There's another. Two more. Now, where's the last one? Hello. That's a palm tree. I don't see it yet. Ah, there it is. All right, what's next in the mountains? If they have their way, people from Austria on vacation do the same thing they do at home. They go hiking. Place signposts so that slightly confused hikers don't just wander aimlessly across the landscape. Okay. For the last one, National Park. Oops. People from Switzerland like to have things cultivated, cool, and shady. In other words, as boring as possible, which matches their temperament. A well thought out vegetation concept will increase their sense of well being. All right, time to plant some trees then. Bob Ross and Mr. Beast will be proud. Okay, we're up to 50 out of 70. Let's just go more. Thanks to your efforts, Mallorca is becoming more and more popular as a holiday destination. But even so, the transportation infrastructure leaves a lot to be desired. Anyone who is ripe for being on an island doesn't want to wear themselves out there with unnecessary long walks. Provide an appropriate variety of transportation options so that vacationers feel good from head to toe. Oh, wow, look at all Both that the fuel supply and the transportation infrastructure have to be clearly improved so that everything runs smoothly. 
Okay, so we need to supply fuel. I sus uh, suspected that before. So we'll need to have our fuel brought in over here, I think. So we'll need a fuel barge. So let's buy one of those. Uh, yep. We can put it on the same line as this one. It'll just have to pick up fuel, so that's line one. So fuel will get dropped off here. And then we can pick it up and deliver it to the cities. So let's start with that. We'll do, uh, how many cities do we have? Three? One, two, three, I think. Yep. Looks like it. So let's go, uh, uh let's go with, uh, ten trucks to each city, maybe? Oh, but not that truck, though. We want the fuel trucks. Uh, so let's go with, uh, yeah, let's go with, the. Uh, let's go with six to each. How about that? Okay, that should be enough. And then uh, we need to set up a, a, a road route for each one of these trucks for delivery of fuel. So, let's see. Wow, the one closer in town is probably not going to be as big of a deal. It's not going to be that far. All right, so that's new. another new line. Wow, perfect. This is easy. And then one more. And yeah, now that we've already set everything up, going quite easy okay cool so now uh, let's go ahead and uh, divvy up each truck so let's pick six and go to each line so it should be line 15 16 17 all right so fuel should be brought in now it's going to be on the barge to actually go pick it up. Hopefully there's fuel waiting for us. Okay, conservation, another secondary... The objective. tourism boom has its downsides, too. Uh-oh. It poses a threat to the island's wildlife. But it's precisely this diversity of fauna that attracts guests from Switzerland with money in their pockets. Take measures so that the populations of endangered species don't shrink any further. And the Swiss clientele keeps coming in the future, too, and leaves its money here. Increased shipping puts a lot of pressure on all kinds of marine animals all around the island. You ought to counteract this by establishing protected areas where shipping is kept to a minimum. Ah. So they, they only will allow us to... Damn it. All right, so now i got to redo some of this. So we can't have ships pass through here. Seconds protected. Oh, it's only got to be for a short amount of time. Uh oh, the ship came into the... Wait, where was there a ship nearby? Ah, here. Okay, so I just need to rebuild our port maybe here. And then this other one's okay, but then these ships need to avoid it. But I think we'll be alright. All we just need to do is wait for a little bit of time to pass. There we go, this should be good enough. We just need for two minutes to pass without any ships coming in, and then we'll be good. All right, fuel supply should be working as soon as that other ship gets back with fuel. Wow, looks like a lot of people are arriving at the airport. There's 24 people waiting to go back to Germany at Frankfurt. Cool. All right, we're at 90 seconds. I wonder if the ship got fuel. It did, 33 out of 200. The island has a remarkable variety of avifauna, birds. See to it that the increasing air traffic doesn't inconvenience them too much. Avoid having airplanes fly through the highlighted area. What do you mean, that's literally the airport? Avoid having airplanes fly through the airport? What do you mean? <laughs> it's an airport. It's the only place it could be built. Do you want me to just shut down airplanes for 120 seconds? I mean, I can do that. Or just have limited flights. Uh, where's our other planes? Are they all at our airport? Oh, boy. Oh, it looks like they're leaving. Oh, boy. Well, that's just going to have to happen at random. All right, here comes our fuel barge. She's slow, but she's sure. All right, I'll see you guys as soon as everything is uh, hunky-dory. Okay, we're about done with the fuel. I've doubled down on the uh, amount of ships coming back and forth with fuel. And I'm going to send out another one, too, just to make sure we can complete that goal. So let's go with uh, line one there. 
So we have three ships transporting fuel, one bringing back goods and steel. I'll probably have to get another one to bring more goods into town. That'll eventually be a goal, too. So let's make sure we buy, uh, maybe we should buy a big ship for goods. We'll just set it to... Uh, Due to your tireless work, progress is finally gaining a foothold on the island. People ready for a vacation are arriving in ever-increasing numbers. For quite some time now, the down-to-earth guest houses and nifty thinkers haven't been enough to house all the guests. Modern accommodations for the masses are called for. Experience shows that even when abroad, people prefer to spend most of their time among their countrymen. That's why a variety of hotel complexes ought to be built, specially aligned to meet the very specific needs of the respective guests. All right, this is what we saw at the start, the uh, German hotel and such. So let's see what each individual item they need is. Neat and clean. Germans ought to feel right at home on vacation, too. Which is why the hotel oh. furnishings must be made of plastic. Then they can be easily wiped. Okay, so we want uh, basically to ship things in via the airport now. That's kind of cool. I wonder if our truck stop is close enough for that. No, it's not. So we'll have to make a s special uh, site for the construction. Okay, so we're probably going to have to ship in, oh yeah, mechanic, mechanical stuff at the airport. So they want us to ship stuff in via air. That's cool. Travelers from Switzerland expect everything to run as precisely as clockwork from the canton of Jura. Special tools are needed to make sure that's the case. Okay, then we'll build a truck stop specifically for the delivery of goods here. So we'll do one next to this hotel and one next to this hotel for the Germans. Okay, and what's the last one for the Italians? People from Austria, oh, Austria. are said to have Sorry, destructive Vienna's tendencies <laughs> every now and then. Whether that's true or not, it's worth building particularly solid steel structures yes. so that you're steeled against possible attacks. What I was thinking of is... Uh, Vienna, I was thinking of Verona for some reason on uh, Euro Truck. What a noob with this guy. American canned America. All right, so we need three cargo aircraft to bring back the goods needed, and then we need to set up a route for each set of trucks. So uh, let's go ahead and buy five trucks for each uh, goal. So let's do that here. Ooh, looks like our uh, cargo dock is getting pretty full. I can add a few lanes to that. We've done that before. We'll, we'll fix that up in a second. Let's buy... Uh, buy 10 trucks, no, 15, for each new goal. And we need to buy three new cargo aircraft, but we can still have them go on the same line. So let's buy three cargo aircraft, and we'll go in reverse this time. What, what we'll do is we'll set up the lines first to each hotel. So this will be our hotel preparation line for construction, and I'll add some lanes to that too, so we can get goods out of the airport and the port a lot faster. So that one's for the German hotel. I believe this is the Swiss hotel. And then the Austrian hotel. So that one could come back here. And then new line here. Uh, to the hotel all the way over on this side. There it is. That road's busy. Good. Okay, so line 19, 18, 19, 20. So let's go ahead and set up those trucks. So line 18. Uh, we want five, 18, 19, 20. 18. 19. And 20. Okay. And then we should have enough for each aircraft to go pick up the required materials. So now we just got to set them to go on their respected route. So let's go 12. 13, 14. So hopefully they pick up the goods when they get there. So just 10 needs to be delivered and then the hotel construction can be completed. Alright, I'll see you in a sec. Alright, all good. Just one more delivery to do for tools over to the uh, construction site here in I think is the name of it. I'm pretty sure. Also, I tried to use one of the larger ships but it seems like the uh, water is too uh, shallow over here. So if I want to do a deep water port, I gotta go elsewhere I, I guess. I think everywhere is uh, everywhere that's green is fine. The blue is just not. So our shipyard here is just like right on the edge. Yeah. So I'd have to build like our shipyard somehow pointing out into the green, which doesn't look like there's really the perfect spot. Maybe over here uh, for delivery. But anyway, we'll continue on here and uh, keep getting that money. We just need one truck to bring over one load of one thing of tools. Also, the machines are ready to come in too. I've got a line set up and. Uh, whenever we need machines, obviously that's going to be the next thing to deliver as well as a bunch of meat. 
that's going to be a thing too. And also, we got a good supply chain for goods. I think what I'll have to do is just buy a few more barges just to keep things rolling in. There's a few items here, but I want more frequency than I do uh, capacity. So you can see here a ship pulls up and grabs a bunch of those goods and then it uh, heads out again. We've also got fuel coming in too. I just want to make sure we've got like a barge coming and going at all times. Looks like we're doing good. Wow, look at these planes just like flying these crazy maneuvers. <laughs> That's a cargo plane there. What's he loaded with? Let's check it out. The large number of well-furnished accommodations make Mallorca an El Dorado for people hungry for sunshine from all over Europe. Make sure that no wishes are left to be desired and your cash registers are filled to the brim. Meet the needs of your guests from Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. They have very different preferences. Everyone says the Germans are very demanding guests, but it doesn't take much to make them happy. They like autobahns and schnapps, hard liquor. People from Austria are used to good public transportation options and breaded schnitzel cutlets too. Well, it looks like we're already completing some of our objectives. The island of Mallorca has an assemblage of several cultural landmarks of historical value. The Germans like to take a look at them now and then before they head for the beach. But sadly, the structures are exposed to the emissions from increased traffic and visibly deteriorating as a result. Do something. If the pollution level stays the same, Continuous maintenance is the only way to prevent the ongoing money. All of the island's historic edifices require restoration on a time-consuming scale. And once the last building has been brought up to snuff, it will be time for new work to be done on the first one again. That's fine. That's called maintenance costs. All right, so it looks like we need to deliver food to a certain town there. That one's almost done. We need to deliver alcohol to Palma. I thought we were already doing that because I knew Palma required booze. Do we have a truck route set up to deliver there? I think it might only be set up there. So we'll have to set up a new truck route to uh, shift the booze over there. Actually, let's just modify an existing. Uh, let's try that. Uh, what line is it? We sort by truck. Looks like the purple line going to the left. So line 10, maybe? Yeah, li line 10. So we'll just modify that to go to the truck stop here. Perfect. They'll get all the supplies now. 50 is a big number, so... And it looks like the Swiss are already getting goods delivered from uh, offshore, so that's fine. Um, so we got to pay $100,000 a month forever. Oh, that's fine. Our, our, our money is fine. We got we started with half, half a billion dollars. We'll be good. All right, looks like uh, more goods are coming in. They're on this ship here, so they need to go to which town? Wherever they are, Mr. and Mrs. Swiss folk like it best when things are just like home, as quiet and clean as possible. When abroad, they enjoy running errands. The Swiss name for it is shopping. Okay. What the hell? All right. <laughs> Let's see. The uh, line here is. I think this is one of these brown. One of these brown ones. Looks like we have a new bus at our disposal too. Yeah, this one's just going to take a while. I think we just need more goods coming in. More frequent deliveries. There's a fuel truck sitting there too. That's why it's sometimes better to make an actual depot so that way they don't block the whole thing of traffic. We'll get there eventually. So let's see what's almost done. Uh, so food is almost complete. Booze is already starting to flow into town. So we might need more deliveries from the farm. What's up with the farm? Oh yeah, there's plenty of stuff sitting here at the farm. Let's increase that number. Uh, line 9, it seems, needs more trucks. All right, let's add a bunch of new trucks to line 9. Uh, this music's kicking up. I love it. Okay, so let's add a bunch more trucks here to line nine. Okay, that'll float, make the booze come in faster. Food's already taken care of. Goods, I think, is just based on... Well, there's a lot sitting here. So we just need a uh, truck to come through now. I just got to figure out who's stopping here. Line seven, no. Line 17, no. Well, that's the only color that corresponds there. I need to find a color that's stopping here in the town. There it is. Line 20, from Palma Transfer to New Street. Thanks to your timely intervention, the long-term preservation of the historic buildings is ensured. The Germans are busy taking photos. All right, we want line 20 to get a bunch more trucks. There we go. 
Alright, cool. Oh, it looks like goods are already flowing. Perfect. It'll just be a second or two until we're complete. Alright, that's it. That's all it took. It's official. Malarca is the uh, popular vacation paradise in all of Europe. Oh my goodness. We got all objectives done too with no glitches or any uh, fall-ups, so we're good. Alright guys, next is chapter three. We finally start in like 1970 to modern times, like 2000. Finally, I'm so excited. Thanks for leaving a like on your way out. Take care, and I'll see you for tomorrow's chapter three. It's going to be big. Here we go.